This is the Big O Show. This is the Big O Show. I like the Edmonds move overall. I think that one makes a lot of sense. And then we get to Teddy Bridgewater. I've been talking about this for several weeks. I thought Teddy Bridgewater is the perfect backup. This is what Teddy Bridgewater has been most of his career. They've started him because the league doesn't have quarterbacks. Okay, just to remind you a little bit. In 2014, when he started for Minnesota, 14 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. The entire season he started in 15, 14 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. He's never going to be an explosive quarterback. He doesn't have the explosiveness in him, period. And whether you want to, you know, I, I, I get it. There's a lot of stupid shit being said out there. You got a bunch of idiots out there that either think Teddy's better or is equal or he's competition or any of that. Okay, Teddy Bridgewater is not here to push Tua. Like I had some guy on Twitter like, well, I'm glad they signed Teddy Bridgewater. That'll keep Tua on track and push him. And I'm like, that's some stupid shit. Nobody needs to push Tua. Teddy's not here for any competition. Teddy is not a starting quarterback in the NFL. Teddy Bridgewater has been a backup quarterback, and that's what he should be. He has only started because the league can't find 32. There aren't 32 of them in the entire planet. So that's why Teddy has started. But outside of that, he's a fantastic backup. It's what he should be. The experience he's had starting and his mind, which is a starter's mind, a a high-caliber NFL player mind, that's what you need on the sidelines. And I get it. He's from Miami, and and he's a lovable guy, and he's highly respected, and he's a terrific young man and all that good stuff, and he's got great characteristics and all of that. You want him to marry your daughter? All of that. Not a starting quarterback. So he's not here to challenge anything. He'll take over if Tua, if Tua suffers an injury, but he's not here to push Tua. He's not here to be the starting quarterback. He's not the better quarterback. If you idiots haven't followed it, this is his fourth team in four years. Okay? There's a reason why. Because those of you that don't know and don't follow it, he's a lovable character. So you don't watch him every week. So you love him from afar. But once you see him every week, you will then see the warts. You will then see the limitations. And you will understand why nobody keeps Teddy Bridgewater because eventually they realize he doesn't have enough. Okay? So you can have all your mental masturbation out there you want, all of that stuff. The kid is not here to push Tua. The kid is not here to challenge Tua. If you go to Teddy Bridgewater, the season is over. Understand that. Okay? The only chance you have to compete is with Tua Tunga Vailoa. Tua Tunga Vailoa is the franchise quarterback, and he'll be just fine. But you've got to fix the line. You got to get that running game going. And hopefully you got coaches on the sidelines that can make the right calls on offense. You do all of that, Tua is going to be a terrific quarterback. I'm not worried about it. But I understand that we have a lot of idiots out there that don't understand football, don't understand the quarterback position and all that stuff. So we have morons saying stupid stuff like, oh, my God, Teddy Bridgewater is going to challenge Tua. And Teddy Bridgewater can't keep a job throughout the entire league. And he's had chance after chance after chance. This is not a bash Teddy Bridgewater segment. This is telling you what he is and has always been. He's always been a backup quarterback that has been given several chances to start. But in the end, after you get through the amazing character, the phenomenal human being, the great leadership, the great communicator, 
the intelligent person that Teddy Bridgewater is, you then find out the good Lord did not bless him with enough talent at this level. And that's the end of the story. And so just like Steve Walsh, just like Ken Dorsey, just like, um, oh, what's the, the guy that they just signed again in New England that's been stealing money forever? What's his name, dude? God, what's his name? Um, Really bad quarterback. Again, another backup Hoyer? quarterback. Huh? Hoyer? Hoyer. Brian Hoyer. Thank you. Brian Hoyer. Same thing. Teddy Bridgewater is Brian Hoyer. You want him back there. You want him. You want his brain. You want his intelligence. You need him to fill in for a quarter or a game, get you through it. But Lord knows you don't want him for half a season. You don't want him for a season because your season is over. Because unfortunately, the Lord did not give him enough talent at this level. So that's who Teddy Bridgewater is, has always been. And will always be. And nothing will ever change. But every new city he comes to, since most don't follow him, including here in South Florida, they will then, you know, we'll have our section of fans. And then eventually they'll watch him and then they'll figure it out. We had we had him like that with Brissett too. We had a couple guys too that thought Brissett would eventually be a good quarterback and eventually could make it and all that. And they just didn't watch him. That's all it is. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay? I'm super happy Teddy Bridgewater is here. Because you need his mind and you need his experience on the sidelines. And he can bring that Don Strzok quality to the sidelines. Don't, don't, don't try to get any more excited out of that. The second he's forced to go on the field, you're not going anywhere. Okay? You're not going anywhere. So that's not the answer. The answer is not Teddy Bridgewater starting, and it's certainly not pushing or challenging or anything like that. He's there for support. And that's when the Dolphins will be at their best. That Tua is playing and Teddy is helping, seeing, maybe seeing what Tua doesn't see. When he comes to the sidelines, he can tell him. 